a 965 kilogram satellite in orbit around a planet has a gravitational potential energy of that. Does that negative make sense? Yeah, here's what it's telling you. To get it out to infinity, you would have to add that much more energy to get it to zero, to get it to escape Earth's gravity. Its orbital radius, okay, we are in orbit. <sighs> okay, what does A want me to find? Lexus, what? Pardon me? Big M. Well, I think the first thing I might try is gravity is what's pulling me in a circle. Can I say that? We're in orbit. Gravity is what's pulling me in a circle. Big G, big M, little m over R squared equals little m. And now here's what my brain would think. If I go V squared over R, I want to find M. Do I know V? This gives me two unknowns. I think I'm out of luck. If I go M four pi squared R over T squared, I know R. Do I know V? Alexis, what else did this question give me? Maybe I can find big M from that. So, potential energy is negative big G, big M, little m over R. This is how my brain would solve this. Uh, Alexis, did they give me the potential energy? Yeah. Do I know big G? 6.67. Do I know little m? Do I know R? Ah! Only one unknown. Okay. I've never done this before, but how would I get the big M by itself? I guess times by R divide by big G, big M, and I think the negatives are going to cancel because the left side is, is going to be negative when I put the number in. And, sorry? Do I have a little Did I say, what did I say? Something different? Okay. Habit. Divide by little m. Okay. So I, I, I think we're going to get this. Big M equals R times the potential energy, or, or potential energy times R, divided by big G, little m, and the negatives would definitely cancel. It's going to be 8.85 times 10 to the 6th, negative 6.55 times 10 to the 10th, all over 6.67 times 10 to the next. Oh, wait a minute. I said yesterday, if you want to, you can just write big G and I'll figure out what you mean. Uh, but definitely times 965. Okay. And hopefully I get something planet-ish. Earth's mass is 10 to the what? So I'm hoping for something in the 10 to the 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 this range, planet-ish. If I get 60, I've messed up. This is negative, but what can you tell me about the PE? It's also negative? I don't know why I did that. That was dumb of me. So you know what? I should have done that. Happy? Thank you. You're right. No, I'm worth making fun of once in a while. Good day. Looking for me? Oh, no. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Folks, this is Mr. Kreitch. If I'm a good physics teacher, it's because of him. He's the one that mentored me and got me into teaching physics. So he retired last year, but he's kind of my nerd hero. So...
in case you're wondering. What are we learning about? Gravitational potential energy, and we're about to get into black holes. Because they're very attractive. <laughs> That's so funny, Mr. Duick. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they, they know. Um, oh, I put the negative in again, Ronan. Silly. And I get that. It's almost exactly 9 times 10 to the 24th. I looked at part B and part C and part D. I think I might end up using this. So I'm actually going to carry... Well, you know what? It's 5 and then it's 989. I think 9.006 will be a pretty good place to round off to. Times 10 to the 24th. I'll use my answer button if I can, but if I can't, I'll use that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Back to Alexis. What does B want me to find? Ah. Uh, how do we find speed? Sorry? What? I think I know what you know, what I know, what all you know. I, I think now we can say gravity is what's pulling us in a circle. Uh, I, by the way, I can't use V equals 2 pi R over the period because I haven't figured out the period. If they'd given me that, yeah. But what I can say is, okay, gravity is what's pulling me in a circle. Big G, big M, little m over R squared equals M V squared over R. And now I'm Hannah in familiar territory. One of the R's cancels, little m cancels. And yeah, Alexis, it sounds like you almost memorized it. It's the square root of big G, big M over R. And now I know all those. V orb is going to be the square root of big G. I'm going to write 9.006 times 10 to the 24th, but I'm using my answer button. Now this planet, by the way, its mass, what, about 1.5 times the Earth? So Earth-ish. Uh, R, they gave me R, 8.85 times 10 to the 6th. Because this is roughly Earth mass, I'm probably expecting an answer similar to orbiting the Earth. I'm going to bet that you're going to get something in the thousands. But I don't know. Let's find out. Big G, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times answer button divided by 8.85 times 10 to the 6th square root answer button. Yeah, there you go. 8,240. meters per second. I hope, yeah. Adam, what's C want me to find? You know what's nice? KE hasn't changed. Half MV squared. Ooh, which V? The orb. It's going to be a half, little m, times 8,240. I'll use my answer button, squared. Wait a minute, I think I can do this in my head. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Do you know why? I can cheat. I remember, and I taught you this last day, I'm pretty sure the kinetic energy in orbit is half the potential energy, but positive. 
So if I just divide this by two, what's 655 divided by two? 650 divided by two would be 3.25. Then I got a 3 point, oh boy. Two set, I got, okay, I can't do this. I picked a bad number. I should have made this an even number. But I'm pretty sure if I just ignore the negative, if you folks type it in, try going a half mv squared. But I think if I just go that number, the potential energy divided by two, isn't that exactly what you have now sitting on your calculator? And the fact that that worked, I'm pretty sure I've done everything right so far. There's no way I could have fluked into that. This is why I said you can survive just fine without those patterns that I showed you last day. But they're nice because, oh, I must have done this right. 3.275 times 10 to the 10th. Cool. Man, of what does D want me to find? Total energy will be potential plus kinetic. However, it seems to me that if the kinetic is half as big as the potential, the total energy will just be negative half of the potential. In other words, and you can try this on your calculator if you type it in, if you go negative 6.55 times 10 to the plus answer button, I'm pretty sure you're going to get negative 3.275 times 10 to the 10th joules. The pattern holds. That's what I was getting at with this little rant right here in example five. I was saying, look, for what it's worth, if you're looking for a handy little pattern, the kinetic energy in orbit is half of the potential energy in, energy in orbit, but positive. And the total energy in orbit, if you add them both together, is half of the potential. In fact, it's the same as the kinetic, but negative. Meh. Okay. Uh, what's your homework then? I'd given you some questions to try already, I think. What had I given you to try already, Mr. Duick? I can't remember. One, three, one, three, four. So let's go back to... I showed you that video already. One, three. I got other stuff. Patience. Um, find the orbits, blah, 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 blah. Sure, five is good. Six is good. Seven is good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say you can try number eight, but I'm going to say cross out A, cross out B, cross out C, cross out... I want you to find the work to put it in orbit, but you're going to have to do parts of A, B, and C. You're going to have probably have to find the orbital speed. This is the one that's tougher than I'm going to ask on a test. I will ask you to find how much work to put something in orbit, but I was mean in this question. I didn't give you the orbital speed. I was even meaner in this question. I didn't give you the orbital radius. I gave you the altitude. You'll have to add the Earth's radius. I was even meaner. I gave you the altitude in kilometers. You'll have to do a conversion. That that's that's about as much as I can throw at you. Yeah. Yeah. Could have. That's true. I could have given you the mass and grams. Or pounds. No, no. If you gave us the conversion, you never gave us the pounds and kilograms. Nine is good. Skip 10, 11 is good. You could try 14. Skip 15. Sixteen is good. Skip seventeen.
Skip 18. 19 is good. And 20. That's an awful lot. I'm going to start the next lesson, but I'm not going to finish it. So your homework is going to be this.